Good morning, everybody. My name is Steve. I'm the Director of Activities and Wellness Coordinator at Rose Arbor in Wildflower Lodge in Maple Grove, Minnesota. I would like to thank you today for joining us for what we call Monday Mobility. Here at Rose Arbor, we start off every class with a thought of the day, a fact of the day, and a joke of the day. And today's thought is, movement is medicine. The more that our body can move, the better our bodies are going to feel. Our fact of the day is greater joint range of motion will lead to less pain through freedom of movement. And then the joke of the day is, what do you call a cow on two legs? We call it lean beef. I know, kind of a corny joke, but that's how we start our day, and we usually get a good laugh out of it. So I would like all of you to join me by sitting up tall in your chairs. Remember, when you're doing range of motion or you're doing mobility, take what your body gives you and improve on that daily. It's okay to push a little bit, but you don't want to push yourself so much that we risk over soreness or a potential injury. You are in control. Do what you feel comfortable doing. If you feel like you need to rest, rest. You feel like you need to get a drink of water, please get a drink of water. There isn't much of a major warm up when we come into our mobility because our mobility is basically a warm up leading into other exercise. So today we are just going to start off with some bent arm shoulder circles. Okay. We're going to go in the reverse direction and we're aiming for somewhere around eight to 10 repetitions. You're slowly rolling those shoulders up, back and around. And after about eight to 10 reps, you're gonna to come to a complete stop. And we're gonna roll those shoulders forward, loosening up those shoulder joints. After about eight to 10 of those, we will then progress into our cross body arm swing. When you're doing that cross body arm swing, make sure that you're alternating the top hand. Again, we're doing somewhere around eight to 10 total repetitions. At any point in time, if your range of motion is limited, stick within what your body gives you. Just shorten up that range of how you're executing each one of the movements. Good. After this, we're gonna drop our arms to the side and we're gonna windmill all the way up. Quick pause, windmill all the way down, hinging, reaching between our legs windmilling all the way back up. We're gonna do about six total windmills of these. And just to touch again, if I have limited range of motion, come as high as I can go. Maybe one arm can come all the way up, but the other arm can only make it up this high. So you take what your body gives you, and we will work on improving that each and every time that we execute these mobility exercises. After that last windmill, we're gonna bring those arms down to the side. Now from here, we're gonna drop our right arm inside the right leg, and we're gonna open our body up to the sky, opening our chest up. Okay, then you're gonna hold this pose for about three to five seconds. We're gonna do three of these reps on each side, dropping this arm down, pinning the left arm to the inside of the leg, we will then open our torso the other direction. From a reverse point of view, if I can't hinge down that low or you're not comfortable with it, just pin your arm to the inside of your leg here and work on opening your torso backwards, adding in that rotation. But if you are comfortable, let's get that arm all the way down to the grain and open all the way up. This will be my fourth rep. So I'll do one more on each side. Good, everybody's doing an excellent job. Bring that last one down, then we will slowly sit up one vertebrae at a time. From there, we're gonna reach our arms out in front of our body. You're gonna take your left arm, grabbing your right wrist, and pull that across your body with a very slight rotation right about a quarter of the way. We're pulling on this arm, creating a little bit of leverage, stretching that upper back side of the shoulder as well as the upper back. Returning to the middle, take your right hand, grab your left arm, pull that across the body. 
at about a quarter rotation. We will do this two times each direction. Good. Now, dropping your hands down to the side, we're just going to do some simple shrugs. We want to elevate the shoulder up towards the ears, drop them back down. Elevate up toward the ears, drop them back down. One of my college football coaches used to call these, I don't know. He said we were real good at them because we always answered every question with, I don't know. So that's four reps there. We're going to do a total of eight. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Excellent job. We're now we're going to transition into some neck circles. So pick a direction, left or right, and you're going to do six slow and controlled neck circles coming all the way up and around, then bringing it back down to the front. Good. That's three, four, five, and six. Coming to a stop and then reversing your direction. Five, and lastly, number six. Excellent work. Now we're going to do some extension and flexion, right? We're going to flex down to the chest, then extend all the way up to the ceiling. Flex down to the chest, all the way up to the ceiling. That's two each direction. We're going to do a total of five each direction. Three. Three, always remembering, taking what your body gives you. If this is as far as I can flex down or extend up, then you take what your body gives you and you continue to improve. One more each way. Good. Now we're gonna take that same chin and we're gonna alternate left to right. Try to get that chin to the shoulder. Slowly back to neutral, take it to the right. We're going to get four each direction of this exercise. Make sure you put a quick little pause in each time you get over to that shoulder. Three. Lastly, number four. Good. Excellent work. Now we want to take this ear and bring it down to our shoulder, stretching the back side of that neck. Slowly neutral, bending it down to the opposite direction. We will get four in each direction. So this is two, two, three, three, number four, and four. Excellent. Excellent work. Now we're going to get into a little bit to our wrist and our hands here. Okay. So I want you to sit in a neutral with your hands in a neutral grip. So your thumbs are pointed up. We're going to flex that rest, wrist in. Then we're going to bring it back out. Kind of like pinball flippers. In. Out. In. Out. We're going to do six. That's three. Four. Five. And six, excellent work. Now bringing those palms up, we're gonna flex them down and up, down and up. Doing six of these as well. This is three, four, five, and six. Good. Now back to that neutral position. We're gonna roll the wrist from the inside out. We're going to go in a circle 10 times, then we will reverse 
the direction for 10. 4, 5, 6. And again, if your range of motion is limited and you have to draw smaller circles, draw smaller circles. Eventually, those small circles will lead to bigger circles. And let's switch up the direction. Nine and ten. Good. So now we're going to simply place our hands on our knees. I want to work our fingers a little bit. From here, you're going to squeeze the knee, not quite gently, but not overly aggressive, right? Just enough to activate your grip. And then we want to spread our fingers out as far as we can. We're going to flex and extend. Flex and extend. These finger exercises are wonderful to help combat and slow down all that arthritic change that takes place in our fingers over the years. Two more times. Flex, extend, flex, and extend. Good, now we're going to what we call piano fingers. We're gonna do this for about 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, give those hands and fingers a rest. Excellent job, everybody. The next thing we're gonna get into is some, what I call this trunk circles, okay? So we're gonna sit up big and tall in our chair, and we're gonna circle all the way around. Imagine you're standing inside of a hula hoop, and you're trying to rub the inside of that hula hoop as you go all the way around. Loosening up that trunk. We're going to do eight in each direction. This is five, six, seven, and eight. Coming to a nice slow stop, and we're going to roll those circles back the other way. One, two, three. Five, six, two to go, seven, and eight. Good. Now from that same seated position, I want you to put your arms down at the side of your body. And we're going to flex one direction all the way. See if we can get all the way down to the ground. Then you're going to sit all the way back up slowly. We're going to flex down the other direction. You may not get to the ground now. But if you keep working, we'll get enough range of motion improvement that we can get down to that ground, okay? We're gonna do five total in each direction. This is two, three, four. And again, like we've talked about before, if your range of motion is limited, just go as far as your body will allow you to go. And then we will continue to improve each and every time. Awesome, excellent job. So now we have to use our imagination a little bit. I want you to imagine there's a small cone or a canned food item to the inside of your foot. I want you to extend your right leg. Your heel is down on the ground, your toe is up, and we're gonna lift our leg up and over the cone or the cane. Okay, we're going to start doing a little bit of hip mobility. Cool. We're doing 10 reps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wonderful. Pull that right leg in, extend that left leg out, heel is down, toe is up. We're over the can or over the cone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. Bring that leg all the way back in. Now, from a bent leg position, we're going to work a little bit of hip circles, okay? So we'll start on our right leg. You're going to lift up, 
And you're just going to circle inside out. You're going to do five inside out with my right leg. Then I will do five outside in with my right leg. Then we'll switch over to the left. And again, if you're limited in range of motion, make smaller circles. Okay. But one day those smaller circles will turn into bigger circles. Then we're going to switch over to our left leg again, going inside out. After five, we'll do five. Four and five. Excellent job on your hip work, everybody. Okay, now we're going to do a little chest flexion and extension. Okay, so I want you to put your hands out in front of you like you're giving somebody a big giant hug. And then we're going to open all the way up as they come running to us. And then we're going to give them a big giant hug. Open, close. We're going to do 10. Open, close. As you open, try to squeeze those shoulder blades together on your back. Open, close. Open. Close, four to go. Three, two, and one. And again, if your range of motion is limited, just shorten your hug up, right? Just shorten your hug up, and eventually we'll continue to improve and increase on that range of motion. Now we're going to go into what we call W to prayer. I want to externally open up my shoulders and my arms, putting my elbows at the side of my body. I look like a W. As we pin back, squeeze those shoulders together, bring your hands into the front for prayer. Open and squeeze, come to prayer. Open and squeeze, come to prayer. We've got five more. Open, pray. Open, pray. Open, pray. And again, if your range of motion is limited, open up as far as you feel comfortable. Just know that the more that you continue to work on it, we're going to increase on that range of motion and that mobility. Okay, now we're going to go back down to the lower body and work a little bit of our ankles. Okay, so I want that right leg extended, heel in the ground, the toe is up. And then I want you to drive your toe all the way to the ground like you're pushing the accelerator or the brake on the car. And then you're going to pull that toe all the way back as if you took your foot off of that accelerator or the brake. So we're going to dorsiflex and plantar flex. Plantar flex is down, dorsiflex is up. We're going to go back and forth. We're going to do 10 each direction. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You're going to pull that right leg in, extend that left leg out, Plantar flex, dorsiflex, back and forth. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent work. Pulling those feet up underneath your hips, your knees are bent. We're going to invert and evert the ankle. So, what that means is we're going to roll them out. Roll them in, roll them out, roll them in, out, in, four, five. We'll do ten, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent job. Now some ankle circles. So you're going to extend that leg back out again. You're going to slightly pick it up off the ground. And you're going to make a circle with your ankle. We're going to do five one direction, pause, five back the other direction. Good. Bring the right leg in, extend that left one out. Five of them one way. Five of them the other way. Good. Pulling both legs in. We're going to work a seated march. So from that seated position, I want you to elevate your right leg up. Give a quick pause. Bring it back down. Elevate the left side. Right. Left. Right. 
We're going to do five on each side. Two more. Up. Last one. And down. Good. Okay, now we'll get into a little bit of hip flexion and then we're going to stretch our hamstring. Okay, so we're going to extend that right leg out. We're going to flex down at the hip and we want to reach down for those toes. Now, if I can't get all the way to my toe, that's fine. Come to the shin just below the knee. Okay, wherever your sticking point is, is, is that's where you want to stop and keep a little pressure on that stretch. Just know that the more consistently we do it, we're going to be able to hinge down and get that hand all the way underneath the foot. Okay. So when we get down there, we want to hold that, that pose or that uh, stretch for a good five seconds. You're slowly going to sit all the way back up. One more time, back down to the toe. We're going to do a total of three times on each leg. So this is two on the right. Sit all the way up. Third time on the left. Four and five. Pull that right leg in, extend your left leg out, hinge down to the left toe. Good. Sit all the way up. One more time down to that toe. Sit up. Lastly, last time down going to that toe. Good, you should feel that stretch all the way up the back of the hamstring. Again, if I can only get part of the way down, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. That's our starting point. Keep working and we'll change our ending point. Good, sit all the way up. Now, depending on your chair, okay, I wanna stretch our quad muscle on the front and open that hip back up that we were working from the hip flexion is drop that leg around behind your chair to the right. You should feel the stretch up the quad muscle, and then we're opening that hip flexor back up. To assist in that is we can lean back in our chairs a little bit. There you go. If you don't think you can wrap your leg all the way back around, that's fine. Just bring it wherever you can, you can get it back where you're comfortable, and then just drop that knee down, okay? So once the first stretch is done, bring it back to the front, swing it back around, we'll stretch it again. We're gonna do two of these on each side. Once I get into that stretch, I wanna hold it for about three to five, maybe seven seconds at the most. Bring that foot around. Now we'll switch to our left side, dropping that leg back. You'll feel that stretch all the way through the top of the quad, making sure that you're leaning back in the torso, opening the hips up a little bit, okay? Bring it back to the front. Last time here. Good. Bring that leg to the front. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to finish with a little bit of core work. So there's a couple of options that you have. Option number one is we're going to go opposite knee, opposite elbow. We want to elevate that leg, bring it up to the elbow, tightening our core and rotating down. Okay. You're going to do eight on each leg. Your second option is to simply reach to the inside of the heel. But as I reach, I want to make sure that I'm crunching down and I'm tightening my core. And then lastly, if those are if those are too difficult or you just don't feel comfortable work it, we're going to work some core rotations. So I want to turn my torso, tap the side of my chair, turn my torso, tap the side of my chair. We're going to do a set of eight on each direction, no matter which one of the three options that you choose. OK, here we go. and eight. I want to thank everybody for coming today. Okay, as we get into our cool down, and basically what our cool down is, is we just take a moment to, to decompress. We try to take all that negative energy and we try to just dispel it out of our bodies and out of our minds for at least the 30 seconds of which we're going to do that today. We want to try to fill our lives with love and happiness and take all that stress and anger and pain and just kind of get rid of it all. So, and uh, as part of our cool down, we're just going to kind of bring our hands together 
we're going to simply close our eyes. We're going to try to exhale all the negative energy and bad air out and then breathe in with all the positivity and good energy. So close your eyes for the next 30 seconds. Breathe in the nose. Exhale out the nose. And go ahead and open your eyes back up. On behalf of Rose Arbor and Wildflower Lodge, I would like to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. I hope you found a little bit of value in, in our Monday mobility routine, and hopefully you continue to work on it, you continue to do it, and you can progress in your advancements and start to notice the benefits that we get out of mobility. And always remember that movement is medicine. See you guys later. Thanks a lot.